Hi everyone, I'm Patrick and in this video I present you three of my favorite free machine learning crash courses. The emphasis is on crash course so it shouldn't take you too long to complete them. In fact the first one takes only one hour, the second one takes about 15 hours and the last one about seven hours. As prerequisite the only thing you need is basic Python skills so you don't need to be an expert but you should be able to code stuff and be familiar with basic data types and control flows, functions, loops, if statements and stuff like that. And it will be a little bit easier if you already have experience with NumPy and Pandas, but you can pick up these skills on the go. All right, now let's have a look at the courses. So the first one is called Introduction to Machine Learning Problem Framing. And this one is by Google. And by the way, all the links are below the video. So this one is for you if you're a complete beginner. It only takes you one hour and it walks you through common ML terms. Then you learn how you can identify whether to solve problems with machine learning. And then you also learn how you define a problem as a machine learning problem and how you can propose a solution. So yeah, this one gives you a pretty nice introduction. So if you're a complete beginner, then I recommend to take this one first. The second course is also by Google and is called the Machine Learning Crash Course. So this one takes about 15 hours and along the way you will also learn how to use the TensorFlow API. So this is pretty cool. So if you're not sure if you should take this one, then you can click on view prerequisites and answer these questions. Is the machine learning course right for you? And as a pre-work, they recommend this introduction to machine learning problem framing course that I just told you. And here you also have the option to take refresher courses for NumPy and Panda. So this can be really helpful. So let's click on start crash course and have a quick look at the course outline. So at the left side, we see the outline. So here we see we start with machine learning concepts. Then if we scroll down, we have a short section about machine learning engineering practices and about machine learning systems in real world with a few short examples. So yeah, the main section is the machine learning concept section. So here you see for each section, you have the estimate of the time that it needs. And it's basically a mixture of video lectures, written lectures and exercises that you can do in a Google Colab. So yeah, this is pretty cool. For example, let's click on the classification lecture. Then we see we start with a video lecture. And again, here we can see the estimated time for this specific lecture. Then if we click on the next one, then this is a written tutorial. And at the end, we have a programming exercise that we can start in a Google Colab. And then we get the hands-on experience. So this is always great. So let's have a more detailed look at these machine learning concepts. So we start with machine learning framing. So again, here we learn about machine learning terminology, then descending into ML. So here we learn about our first machine learning algorithm, linear regression then how to reduce the loss. Then we have first steps with TensorFlow. Then we learn about training, tests and validation sets. Then about regularization, logistic regression, classification, neural networks, multi-class neural networks and embeddings. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good outline. It gives you an introduction to most of the important concepts. And as I said, along the way, you will learn how to use TensorFlow and you get a hands-on experience and can do all the programming exercises in a Google Colab. So yeah, this course is the longest one with 15 hours, but the course outline is pretty extensive and you will learn a ton of stuff. So I recommend to do this if you're serious and want to get started with ML. So the last course I recommend is on Kaggle. So if we go to kaggle.com slash learn, then we actually find a lot of different courses and they are all free and we are able to earn certificates. So the ones I recommend are actually two courses. So it's called Intro to Machine Learning and Intermediate Machine Learning. So I recommend to combine them. The first one takes about three hours and the second one about four hours. So then seven in total. So let's explore the site a little bit more. Then we see we also get a course on pandas, for example, for data visualization. And we even get one intro to deep learning. 
So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So let's start the intro to machine learning and the intermediate machine learning and have a look at the outline. So basically for all courses, you have a written tutorial and then you also get a exercise that you can do. And then you have immediately a hands-on experience. We see here the overview, three hours, eight lessons. And we learn how models work. We learn about basic data exploration, our first machine learning model, model validation, underfitting and overfitting, then random forests and how we can take part in machine learning competitions. And let's have a look at the intermediate course. So here we learn about missing values, categorical variables, pipelines, cross validation, XG boost and data leakage. So yeah, again, I think the outline is pretty nice for these two courses. So let's have a look at, for example, the first real lection with an exercise basic data exploration. Then we get a written tutorial. So here we don't have video lectures. We just have a written tutorial, but they are also pretty nice. And then at the end, we can start the coding exercise. And this will again open a notebook that we can then do. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool as well. And yeah, I recommend to check out kaggle.com slash learn and to have a look at the available courses. So yeah, these are my recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this list. And if you know about any other machine learning crash courses, then let me know in the comments below. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.